I'm gonna share with you guys the five biggest mistakes that I see beginner barrel racers make. Through helping people with their barrel horses and kind of working through problem horses, these are the biggest things that I've seen that hold people back from reaching their success. So let's get started with tip number one. If you guys are not already, be sure to subscribe if you're wanting barrel racing tips and let's get going. So number one, the biggest thing that I see is people riding in their horse's face. Now, horses, barrel horses especially, are more meant to ride with our legs, with our seat, the more that you touch your reins during a run, the more time that you're gonna create on the clock. And everyone knows that you gotta have less time on the clock. So the biggest thing that I see is people riding with their hands too much. So I'm gonna come out here and kind of show you guys, but when you're riding, you want to be out of your horse's face. You wanna just be riding with your body, with your hips. You don't wanna to have to ride with your face. So a lot of times I see people and they'll come out here and kind of be on their horse's face, kind of be in the front. And that's not what we want. What we want, is we want to use our body a little bit more than our hands and so if you guys can see i'll walk up here and when i ask my horse to stop oh, you'll see that i just use my body and i just sit down and he'll stop and i'm using my body completely everywhere so if i need to stop my horse i just sit down tell him whoa and i'm not in my horse's face all the time now Another big thing is learning how to actually use your legs. And so horses will move off of leg pressure. So if I give my horse this right leg, he's gonna step over away from it. Now, when I am teaching people, these, the biggest thing that I see is just using their hands too much. So the more that you can use your body around the barrel, instead of using your hands, the better off that you're gonna be. Now that does come down to making sure that you're giving your horse clear cues with your legs, making sure that you're squeezing, and then if that doesn't work, you're tapping with your heels or your spurs. I'm gonna walk over to the barrel and kind of show you guys what I mean by not being on your horse's face. So if I come over here, I'm making sure that I'm riding with my body and I'm using my leg pressure instead of using my hands. So I'm making sure that I'm just giving him leg, not really in a space. I can even make him finish off that barrel oh, and come over here and stop and then back up all from not touching my hands. Next biggest thing that I see is shoving your horse up into the barrel on the wrong lead. Now when I you know do run reviews and helping people with problem horses the biggest mistake that I see is people adding time with not being on the right lead. So when you go up into that barrel, make sure that you set your horse up for success and that they're on the right lead when you come into that barrel. A lot of times I see people, their horse will just be on the wrong lead and they kind of just shove them into that barrel and they hope for the best. And in reality, that's gonna cause you a ton of time and it's a huge, huge, huge mistake that's just gonna cost you a whole bunch. So what you can do is make sure that you are figuring out correct leads and a lead is basically when your horse is running, whichever front leg comes out in front the furthest is the lead that they're on. So if he was running like this and this right leg comes out more than the left, that means he's on the right lead. So make sure that you're not shoving your horse into the barrel on the wrong lead. Make sure you're setting him up for success and that means, yeah, sure, you can, you know, go down to the end of the pattern and make sure that you lope a big circle, get on the correct lead and then head off to the barrel. And then even coming after the first barrel when you need to switch to go to the next lead, breaking your horse down to a trot and making him pick up the right lead and then get going. The mistake that I see is people not having the correct body positioning going around a barrel. So I'm gonna head over to the barrel and show you guys what I mean by body positioning. But if you haven't already, this video right here will show you a longer version of body positioning, where you need to be. But I will show you right now what it needs to look like at a barrel. Last and final thing that I see people making mistakes with as a beginner barrel racer is not looking when they're turning the barrel. Basically when you come around the barrel you want to make sure that you're setting yourself up for success. So 
horses learn off of our body positioning. So if I was to look like this, you can kind of see that my shoulders, my hips, and everything follows. Everything will turn that direction. So if I am going around the barrel and I'm looking to the next barrel, everything is gonna follow. And my body positioning is gonna tell my horse turn to that next barrel. The biggest thing with that is whenever you're riding, whether you're turning a barrel, whether you're just riding around, making sure that you're looking where you want to go. Because if you look where you want to go, your body positioning is going to follow and that makes it so much easier for your horse to figure out where you need to be going and where they need to get their feet to. So when you're coming to the barrel, once you get about a fourth of the way around the barrel, you're going to want to turn and look to that next barrel. So I'll show you guys kind of what that needs to look like. that you guys are really gonna wanna watch is the video right here. This is my top 10 bracing tips for beginners. This video is packed with information. You're gonna wanna watch it. It's super helpful. If you guys are not already, be sure to subscribe if you're wanting bear racing tips and I will see you in the next video.